Hi, welcome to this tutorial on finding equations of tangents and normals to a general curve, y equals say some function of x. What I'm going to show you is the technique that we use and also I'm going to run through a numerical example. So first of all, let's talk about tangents. Tangents are the point. So let's suppose we've got a point on the curve and it has coordinates say x1, y1. Then a tangent to the curve is going to be a line that just touches the curve and passes through this point here. It's going to look something like this. So it's going to come up like this. All right? So this will be our tangent. Let's just write that in here, tangent. Okay. I also said we'll be looking at normals to curves. So what's a normal to a curve? Well, a normal is a line that is perpendicular at right angles to a tangent. So if it's going to pass through this point, it'd be a line looking something like this, coming through there and out like that. A normal. So just write that in green there. Okay, so how do we find the equation of a tangent and a normal. Well, they're straight lines, and straight lines have the form y minus y1 equals the gradient m multiplied by x minus x1. We know what x1 and y1 are, they're the coordinates of this point. m is the gradient, the gradient of the tangent. How do you work out the gradient? Well, you need to differentiate the curve. m is found by differentiating the curve with respect to x. Or some of you might know it as f dash x. And what we need to do is substitute this value of x1 into the curve in order to get the particular gradient at this point. So it's f dash of x1, or when x equals x1, we can find out the numerical value of dy dx. And as for the equation of the normal, well again, that's a straight line, so it's going to have the form y minus y1 equals the gradient multiplied by x minus x1. Now you'll see I've left out the gradient here, because the gradient is related to the value of m that we found here. Because when you have perpendicular lines, the product of the gradient should come to negative 1. And so what that means is that this gradient will actually end up being negative 1 over m. Because if you multiply this gradient with m, you'll get negative 1. Okay, well I did promise you an example, and so we're going to look at an example. And here we've got one. Find the equation of the tangent and normal to the curve y equals x squared plus 1 at the point where x equals 3. Now to save space, what I've got here is in fact a sketch of say y equals x squared plus 1. It will pass through the y-axis at 1 and it'll be a parabola. Okay. So what I'm going to do is y equals fx now becomes the graph of x squared plus 1. Our point x1 y1, well we know the x1 coordinate is going to be 3. So we need to find out what the corresponding y coordinate would be. So that's a good place to start. So let's just say here that when x equals 3, we can find out what the y coordinate would be here by literally substituting 3 into the curve. So we'd have 3 squared plus 1. Well, 3 squared is 9, 9 and 1 is 10. So we've got our x1 coordinate of 3 and our y1 coordinate of 10. OK, so this point now is 3, 10. So in fact, what I'll do is I'll just rub that out and we'll put that in as 3, 10. We also now want to get the gradient. And we can get the gradient at any point on the curve here by differentiating y with respect to x. So we'll come down here and we'll say that also dy by dx equals, and if we differentiate this in the usual way, we'd have 2x. 
So the gradient at any point x on the curve is given by 2x. Well, we're looking at the gradient at the point where x is 3. So we can say that when x equals 3, dy dx equals 2 times 3, which is going to be 6. So we've got the gradient of the tangent. We might as well also say that the gradient of the normal, let's just put this in here, therefore gradient of normal is going to be the negative reciprocal of this value. In other words, it's going to be equal to minus 1 over 6, minus 1 sixth. So now I'm in a good position to give the equation of the tangent and the equation of the normal because I've got my x1, y1 value and for the tangent I've got the gradient m as being 6 and for the gradient of the normal it's going to be minus 1 6. So rather than just do this just have a little intro by saying therefore equation of tangent okay you could actually just say at 310 is and what it's going to be then, using this format, it's going to be y minus y1, y1 being 10, equals the gradient being 6, bracket x minus x1, x1 being 3. Alright, so put that in there. And you can either leave it like that or put it in a particular format. If we went for y equals mx plus c, all we've got to do is expand the bracket and just add 10 to both sides. And what you'll find you get is y equals 6x. You've got minus 18 plus 10, which gives you minus 8. When it comes to the equation of the normal, let's just go for that. Therefore, the equation of the normal of normal. Okay. And we'll say again at 310 is and what's it going to be? What well, is going it's going to be y minus y1 which is 10 equals the gradient which is now minus 1 sixth bracket x minus x1 x1 being the 3 and if you wanted to put this into say the form ax plus by plus c equals 0 then what I would do would be to times through by 6 that would therefore give me 6y minus 60 equals, and then for this side we'd just be left with minus 1 times x minus 3, which when you expand the bracket gives minus x plus 3. And if you rearrange this by adding x and taking 3 from both sides, you're going to have a final answer of x plus 6y minus 63 equals 0. So we've got the equation of the tangent and we've got the equation of the normal. So I hope you've been able to follow that and can then apply this technique to anything that you do. Okay well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.